you know, in pretty good physical condition for myself, and I point towards what I eat and my exercise is why I'm healthy. Hey, Trapper, pretty hard to whistle without my two front teeth. <laughs> I've been through some uh, traumatic experiences. I had my hip replaced. I had a broken hip for 20 years, but I kept on trucking there. And I had cancer, and they took that out of me, and probably a lot of people surprised I'm still going. Yeah, well, my trap's still there. Nothing's in it. They're being timid. We probably scared them out, me and Trapper, when we came here. But there's a lot of sign here. I know there's beavers here. Busy as a beaver, it really hits the spot. These guys are all the time cutting trees, packing them. They can cut a tree like this down in five minutes with their front teeth. I mean, I could hardly saw one down with their hands all that fast. So far, we're zero for two. That's not close to 100%, is it? <laughs> Come on. I got one more trap we're going to check here. You give up, well, you sure ain't going to catch one. Get your feet wet, Trapper. Curly seen a bear the other day, so I know the bears are waking up now. And they're hungry. They usually eat grass and skunk cabbage and stuff, but he would just as easily like to eat that beaver. And they, of course, they take the trap, too, so you lose everything there. Yeah, look at here. Hey, Trapper, we got one. So there's those teeth I'm talking about. They can chew a five inch tree down in about five minutes. But you see how the trap took him right there, just killed him instantly. The humane trap, the conibear, 330 conibear. What do you think, Trapper? Gary has caught a beaver common to Alaska. During open season, there is no limit on the amount of beaver you can trap. Ready to go home skin beaver? With his catch in tow, Gary heads back into town to teach Amanda how to make her first pelt. The easy part is going out and setting the trap. And then when you catch something, that's when the work starts. 